why was the meeting held out here and what did you want people to see here in Riverside Park? I wanted to actually bring the committee to the area where we're proposing to do some testing so they could kind of you know, get a picture in their mind's eye of what we're talking about. So it sounds like that the next step isn't going to be testing but another meeting. Can you talk about the special meeting and what that's going to be and what it's going to entail? Yeah, we're going to have one more meeting. Um, so we couldn't reach agreement. Uh, partially it would have been helpful if our consultant had been able to be here today with us, uh, but wasn't. So we're going to try to arrange a meeting where that guy can be here and we can get a citizen group input as to what they feel is uh, the minimum we should do. Uh, and then the several members of the citizen group were here today. What kind of was their feedback from seeing the area here in Riverside Park and the discussion this evening? Uh, they want to make sure that we cover all of the area uh, of concern and we don't, uh, you know, I think they feel this is an opportunity to really kind of settle a, a bunch of concerns that they have about this part of the neighborhood uh, and they want to make sure that we do as much as we can. And when can we expect this special meeting to be happening? We're going to try to do it within the next two weeks. And where should people be looking to find out when it's going to happen uh, if they want to attend? Well, we'll try to make some noise about it uh, with a media release. Uh, and it'll be on the city's website. It'll be an official meeting. I'm sure this one will be in City Hall rather than here at the park. Uh, and there should be some publicity on it. But it kind of comes down to our consultant. The report that we came in with today uh, recommended in excess of $71,000 in testing. And personally, I don't want to go to the city council and ask for $71,000 to do this testing. I would like to get it done for less. Uh, but now we have the citizen group saying, you know, don't skimp. Uh, so we'll work it out and, uh, you know, some of us will be happy, I guess. I don't know. And is there anything you'd recommend citizens to do if they're also concerned about this? Should they reach out or just come to the meeting or what should they They're we welcome to come to the meeting. They're welcome to, uh, they can go on the city's website and speak, uh, contact the director of public works, the mayor, uh, the uh, director of the park recreation and forestry department. They can talk to me, they can talk to any member of the uh, Park and Rec Committee, and of course, you know, like we said, they can come to the meeting. But um, we do have, uh, based on, we've only got one soil sample in the park. Uh, that soil sample indicated that there is no unreasonable risk to park users. The Department of Health Services toxicologist said if you want to be more certain of that conclusion, do more testing. So that's why we're here. Okay. Anything else? Nope. All right.